Hey, it's Rudy at Claude and Painting Studio back again. We're going to paint up a Victrix uh, unarmored hoplite today. Um, keeping it really simple. There's a lot of bare flesh on this model. We'll start with that. Um, I've got some Vallejo um, extra opaque heavy skin tone. It's got quite a um, tanned tone to it. Quite appropriate, I think, for um, sort of a lived-in look. Uh, spending all that time outside in the Mediterranean, they're going to have fairly dark skin, um, and we will be darkening this as well when we come to to wash it later too. Well, that dries. We'll pick out um, the leather. I have some Vallejo model color flat earth. There are um, a few things to look out for. Um, we've got obviously sword and straps across the body. I'll paint the attachment for the shield um, brown as if it's some sort of wrist strapping. Same on the other side. Some of the other uh, models in the set have a bit of wrapping around the um, spear. Nothing on this one. And I will do his sandals this color as well. The spear shaft is going to be painted with some Army Painter Banshee Brown. A couple of metallic paints and um, some Army Painter Plate Mail Metal for the spear point. And some Vallejo model colour. Bronze. Um, use this on the reverse of the spear. Should kind of often be a, a counterweight. Use the bronze on the helmet. And lastly, a bit of bronze for hilt of the sword end of the scabbard. I've changed my water to get rid of um, any metallic flakes which could contaminate my paint um, and I've got some coat arms white. I'm using this to touch up any areas where I've gone over onto the cloth with any of the other colours. I find that quite often a white from the pot is a bit lighter than your spray primer. So just by sticking to the, the raised edges, you can get a little bit of a highlight at this stage before we do a wash. Uh, the wash I'll do is with Army Painter Light Tone, mixed 50-50 with Quick Shade Mixing Medium, and we'll apply that to the whole model. So light tone wash applied and dried. I think the washes work really well um, on these miniatures. All the folds that are sculpted into um, the cloth really take the wash well. Uh, we could <coughs> call this fella um, done at that and move on to um, his shield. But I think it's just a couple of little um, highlights are going to bring it together. I have some army painter cobalt skin um, and we'll pick out a couple of details um, on the, the face just highlight that nose we need to remember as well that our shield is going to be covering quite a lot of this model so there's not much point in highlighting um, for example the knuckles on this hand here maybe from the rear we'd see his elbow Got the white out again. A 
for highlighting the cloth. Let's constrain where the light might fall. So he's looking pretty good with that. Um, I'm gonna get him stuck to the base while we paint the hop on, the shield. It gives the hop light their name. Gave the shield a spray with black. Um, because it's going to be a better base coat for the bronze that I'm going to use. I'm um, imagining that this is a slightly uh, less well-off uh, hot plate. You know, he's got no armor. He has his shield, so um, it's going to be bronze with a small painted design rather than a um, almost entirely painted shield that you might see. Um, you can get some fantastic transfers um, from Little Big Men Studios and others to apply to decorate the shields. Um, but they're a bit of an expense and you can almost be spending as much on the transfer as the, the model in some instances. So here's a, a, a simple um, method of painting. Um, so Vallejo um, model colour bronze. Um, just going to overbrush with a makeup brush. <clears throat> and some inside as well. I'm not too bothered if I get over the, <clears throat> the other details paint them on after. The details on the back, the strapping and <clears throat> um, the rope, I'm going to pick that all out with some of the flat earth. While the back dries, we'll paint on um, the design. I'm going to keep this as simple as I can and go for a trident. So a trident basically is going to be three lines a central one to either side and a bar through the middle. We can further reinforce the shape just by adding triangles onto the end. I should say the colour that I've been using here is Vallejo Panzer Ace's dark rubber. It's a very dark grey. So I switch from my one to my zero to really sharpen these points. So that's our basic design. It's a good idea to add a little bit of <coughs> um, light and shadow. So I'm going to get some matte black to black line. Key to this is just to pick one side of your design. Well, it just helps to add a little bit of three dimensions to it. Maybe put some underneath these areas that are running horizontal as well. And we'll get a lighter grey and do the opposite side for the highlight. A medium sea grey from Vallejo, what I've chosen here. It takes practice, um, there's no shortcuts, but if you don't want to risk doing straight lines on a model, um, a bit of paper is always a good place to start. Um, spare bit of sprue perhaps that you've primed. Back of the model, we're not going to highlight the um, leather but I will get a bit of white just to pick out some of the raised bits on the, the rope. Now the glue on the base is still drying. Um, I've used some uh, Geek Gaming Scenics uh, Mediterranean soil. So 
So I'm happy with um, how this fella's turned out. I think that um, the Victrix line of um, hoplites are excellent. And getting a skirmishing force of these uh, built um, is the, the plan, perhaps to play a Clash of Spears um, or adaptations of um, Dragon Rampant um, to include a sort of Greek mythology angle. Hopefully some useful tips in there. Um, it's quite a straightforward um, paint scheme really. Um, perhaps we'll revisit something else in the range one of the armoured hoplites one day. But hopefully it's been useful to watch and if you've got any comments please drop them below. And if you can like and subscribe, that'd be great. I'm still getting over 50% of uh, views are from non-subscribers. So if we can pump those numbers up, that would really help the channel. Thank you and goodbye.